The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two very special, special stand-up comedians. First, he is the most max- masculine, funny, homosexual we all know and love, Mr. J.P. Hey, oh, yeah. oh, all right. Yep, yeah, J.P. Yeah, yeah there you yeah, go. That's Sorry. me, man. Yeah. And Don't be trying to steal my thunder, <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just getting ready to tell everybody yeah. something. <laughs> and also and also we have another funny stand up comedian. He uh opened for Dave Chappelle? Is that how he's No, that? just got to bring him up on just stage. Just got to bring him up on stage. That's fine. Uh, but he is a very, very funny comedian with a huge gambling problem, Mr. Steve Peter. Yeah. It has been decent this week. It has? Yeah. I, I won. I, I won about five hundred. I think that's my new, my new addiction too is gambling. Oh yeah, I'm killing it's it. It's too easy now. I'm killing it. Uh, but anyways, I'm still just addicted to cock. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's a good thing. It costs less. I mean, if you were straight, not true. <laughs> <laughs> I also gamble heavily, but uh, I'll that's tell awesome. you what. Yeah. Uh, a, lot le- a lot less losing in gambling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, if this is the very first time uh, you've uh, watched this show, this is actually an accurate uh, height scale mm-hmm. on uh, YouTube and Spotify. This is actually legitimate. I am short as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. We're back. All Shit. right. <laughs> That was great. That was spectacular. <laughs> but I like to back up here. Uh, yeah, get get a little bit higher. I mean, don't. don't you I kind of like it down here. Don't bottom out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's JP's. <laughs> I know it's his thing. Uh, but anyways, uh, but yeah, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy show uh, where we like to uh, make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and uh, inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make, uh, well, very uh, sensitive people, very uncomfortable and uh, try to offend them as much as we possibly can. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Oh, boys and girls. JP, I was referring to you. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I'm all man. I'll I know. show you later. I know. Nope, good. Okay. Uh, but no. Uh, you had a dream about you last week. <laughs> I don't want to know. Oh, no, oh, yeah. stop. Ah, okay. God, no, I'm just Had to change the sheets <laughs> twice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Twice. <laughs> ah, it's so gross. JP's like, I know he's a twink. He's the I little. Have, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. And he's hairless. Oh, I like that. Very wait, true. Wait till we get to my week week. Then you can really, really have fun with that. All right. Anyways, uh, we do have an excellent show for you guys this week. Uh, we have uh, a new segment that we're going to do today. No overrated or underrated this week. Okay, as long as you're not taking, that's where I draw the line away. I will never take that All away right, from you. Very that good. is your segment, Thank sir. Thank you. Uh, we've got some current events. Uh, we've got some questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But we are also going to kick off a new segment called Never Have I Ever. Oh, oh I, like <laughs> I, don't, I don't care for this one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I like it. Figured you would, I uh, like it. Figured you would enjoy this. Uh, but before we get to the fun parts of the uh, the show, uh, we talk about what happened to us over our last week uh, because we guys, you know, we know you guys can really care. Um, we're going to kick us off with JP, since he does so many things uh, every single week. I bet you can guess what I did. <laughs> I know what you did. Yeah. I How'd bowled, you bowl? How'd you bowl? Bowled pretty good, man. Yeah? Um, yeah, I lost the first game. You bowled I, better I bowled, than last I bowled, week. Yeah, I bowled 209. <laughs> okay. Struggled carrying, hitting the pocket, doing well, and then I shot 260, 258, won the rest of them. There you go. Good, good, good night. Yeah. Yeah. Won all my side bets and all that shit. So How many balls good. do you bring at 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 three? Okay, all well right. four, counting my spare ball. 
Okay, what is the Four. difference between the, the strike ball and the spare ball? The spare ball doesn't move. It doesn't hook. Okay. It doesn't so have it goes a wh- straight out. The it pit. doesn't have a counterweight in it or I mean, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean it does, but it's way, it's not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I have no idea. It I just am not goes a bowler. straighter. That way you don't hook past a spare. You okay. can just throw straight at your spare. That's fair. I have the cardio fitness of a bowler. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah, but you look great though. No, I look like a bowler. Uh, I know, <laughs> and I sweat when I eat. It's the same sport as golf. <laughs> that might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> In Happy Gilmore, they said it best. Golf requires goofy pants and a fat ass, and so does bowling. I think I bowling bowling is the same requirement. It's a Charlie <laughs> Sheen shirt. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, but did you do anything else? Did you watch any new shows, play any new games on your new Xbox? Is I you- did download Goat Simulator 3, <laughs> uh, and Derek was not wrong. <laughs> it's great. It's fucking phenomenal, dude. <laughs> it's so good. Like, all you, a couple bowls and some Goat Simulator, and you are... <laughs> That's a way to kill about six and a half hours. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love it. It oh. was awesome. Oh, that's great. And, yeah. Uh, and, the, and the car is now fully fixed? Car is fully fixed. Okay. Uh, right. Doing well. Good deal. Thank you again. No, you're welcome. You're uh, the man. Could have been bad, but it was good. It was good. It was good. Uh, and then uh, we will we'll kick this off. Uh, Steve, how was is, how is the last, like, since the last time we saw you, how, how have you been? What have you uh, Not had too going bad. on? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I uh, won in poker last week, so that was good. I won $1,780. That's a good night. That was a pretty good night. And then uh, two days later, I gave back a 1000 of it, uh, being a drunk idiot, at a different game. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then won 600 on sports betting. So oh. that was kind of nice. You know? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. The DraftKings, is that what you do? Caesars. Oh, okay. All right. Dude, Caesars is, uh, I don't know if it's a sponsor or whatever, but um, I don't know if you guys are sponsored by any sports. But uh, I'm working on a couple of, okay. of of which you have just named. Okay. So well, <laughs> Caesars, Caesars is super easy to use. Uh, it's definitely my favorite. And when you bet, if you put your Caesars rewards number in there, you get points. Okay. So, yeah, you can. DraftKings uh, kind of has the same a, thing. Get a free hotel room and oh, shit. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, anything else? Do you watch any shows? Do anything crazy? Uh, we're having the uh, Wichita's Funniest Person Contest oh, at my yeah. bar right now. So yeah. that's fun. Every Wednesday, we got that again tomorrow night. Okay. Um, it was good. I have a really big show. Actually, a couple shows with Chris Porter coming up on November 15th, mm-hmm. which is going to be the semifinals. So I was not able to compete in it, which I'm, I don't know. I'm not really sad about, I guess. But, I think uh, it's funny all yeah. the comics that have already won that are going up. I yeah I think it's yeah you hear about a thousand dollar prize and they're, and they're like, like Fuck we're it. throwing decorum out the window. <laughs> Which it's by the way has been that you you know if you won yeah. you never really competed again. right. Also you know? Derek is going up tomorrow night. Apparently. Okay, so if Good. you guys want to see Derek, nice. go check that out. Yep, hell yeah, I like it. Yeah, what uh, what times what time does this show start there, Steve? It starts at 8 p.m., sign-ups at 7. Okay. Comedy meeting at 7.30 in the alley behind the bar. Yeah, everybody just kind of fingers everybody for a little bit. That's a well, creepy fucking Well, I wasn't going to go, but now that <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll be there. I'll yeah. be there. I'm not so going to perform. It's, uh, but. it's pretty good, you know? It's I've, pretty good. We've hung out in that back alley before. Oh, yeah. A lot yeah. of fingering. <laughs> a lot of fingering. <laughs> a lot of fingering. <laughs> Slash fisting. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Just saying. Uh, anything else, Steve, that uh, that you did? Man, I can't think of anything. I almost beat up my 17-year-old that I don't own. Naturally. Um, today. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, oh, my truck's in the shop. The turbo went out in it. So yeah. it's, oh. that's a fucking $4,000 problem. You brought so. that to me like six months ago, didn't I, you? No, 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 no. It was, How uh, long ago was it? it was a month ago. Was it a, oh, yeah. it's only been that long? Yeah, it's only been a month. What ago. did I tell you was going to happen? Uh, the turbo was going to go out. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure. Yeah, just, uh, that happened. It's like I'm good at my job or something. I know. I know. God, he's got to be good at something. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Finally. Fuck, we found it. Found it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, well, guess what, JP? What, buddy? So, okay, here's here's my week. Here's here's okay. here's what happened over me for the last week. I had a really great week. Good. Um, but the first things first, and I, I may have touched on it. Of course, everybody's going to give me shit about the bindings thing with snowboarding. Oh, no, no, what? More bindings. Uh, no, 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 no more bindings. Uh, I love those things. Okay. But new board. Oh yeah. You did get it. You talked about no, like last week. You it's, were it's not purchased. 
because of how big of a purchase it is. Jesus. It's going to be stupid. It is going to be so fucking stupid. But God damn it, I'm going to be quick as fuck on that mountain. Holy shit. Where do you do most of your snowboarding? I, I like to Out go. Back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I find a, find a good hill. He just Kansas. stands there. Well, <laughs> take, take some pictures, Somebody honey. Somebody pulls him with the car. <laughs> yeah. I, I, when, I, when I was in high school, we actually did pull, uh, like pull oh, behind yeah. a truck. Yeah, we did uh, skids. Yeah, yep. okay, or yeah. that. Uh, but no, so to basically take into account, yes, it's a very expensive board, but the board that I currently have is 12 and a half pounds, okay. which is pretty heavy yeah. for a snowboard. Yeah, that's like half and of it's, you. And it, yeah, no, I'm much fatter than that now. <laughs> um, but uh, it's it's just, it's a pretty heavy board. It's four years old, and I, I am going to get a board that weighs seven pounds. Whoa, wow. Yeah, okay. so it's a big, Whoa, it's upgrade. a big, it is an upgrade, uh, but it is going to be fast as shit, and it's just, it's just something you're still going to be on it. Yeah. So it's not going to go that fast. It's going to glide. Motherfucker. It that motherfucker. will. It'll fly. be like on Christmas vacation. <laughs> yes. Like in yes. One. I will be Chevy Two. chase. <laughs> 100%. I'm going to. I Griswold. hope you hit a tree. I love it. Uh, but no, I go to, uh, I go to New Mexico cause it's not as populated as oh, like, yeah. Colorado. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I go to yeah, angel yeah. fire and Taos. Yeah. And, uh, we're thinking about going yeah. to red river. Red Christmas. river is the one I haven't, I haven't gone to yet, but yeah. I've heard it is exceptional. I used to yeah. play that game Sweet. in elementary school. Red River. Red River, Red River. And that's Rover, <laughs> but yeah. That's the same thing. It is. Uh, but uh, so we did that. Uh, I'm, I'm still working in that. I, I did golf this week. I golfed in the cold, uh, which wasn't, it wasn't that Ew. bad. No, it wasn't that bad. Uh, less people out there. Not as busy. Played really great. Yeah. I hit. Uh, I probably had one of my longest drives I've ever had. Nice. It was like 330 some yards. Holy uh, shit. I, it, I crushed the fucking piss out of the ball. Yeah, but when you're hitting from the women's tees, I don't. <laughs> that doesn't count. Really. True. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good that point. long that long drive. Like, competition. well, those will work. Now I'm on the junior your teeth smash that yeah. yeah uh but no that is not the best thing that happened to me over this last week i did something i normally don't really like to go to concerts it's just not my thing okay. uh, there's too many other people that are there mm -hmm. and i don't like that but my wife and my brother dragged me to a show that i will actually shock you uh what kind of music that i i've loved ever since i was in high school and that is emo music Oh yeah, really? That is my favorite shit in the world. E punk emo. I like emos. Two thousand. Yeah, I know. I'm I sure don't you care didn't. for their music. Like early two thousands. They had their own music. Yeah. Oh hmm. yeah, dude. Hawthorne right. Heights was there, huh. and they uh, they played a fucking killer show. It was awesome. But the best part was that there was the emo orchestra behind them playing with and they didn't uh hawthorne heights didn't just play their music they played all of the punk emo shit from the early 2000s with the orchestra nice it was, that was cool. bad fucking ass it was so cool and there wasn't a goddamn teenager in that place it was great it was all people my age and it was way fucking rad i had so much fun now granted i whenever i was in high school i didn't do the black hair the black nail polish right. i didn't do that i was a jock but i would fucking blast out hawthorne yeah Heights. i don't he think went to a small school really <laughs> the jock squad he went to a very small school I was He's first, homeschooled. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was first team all state in 06, bitch. Yeah, you were. I was. My mommy said so. <laughs> yeah, no shit. He was the only I got competitor. A, I got a medal. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing was is I uh, I had such a good time, I ended up being on the front row. Like, oh, I, nice. oh yeah. Nice. It was Very cool. It was a good time. Me and my wife, my brother, and his fiance. we had an absolute blast, so... If that surprises you, I like emo music. Nah, go fuck yourself. It doesn't surprise me, man. Yeah? No. It doesn't? No. Because uh -uh. it's fucking great. It's yeah. good music. I thought you were going to tell me something cool like I smoke some pot. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could have. Well, damn it. You should have. I could have. It makes I life better. Yeah. And then the other thing. I guess the last thing. <laughs> I, I, I am on a diet. Oh, thank oh, God. Nice. I wondered when you were going to do that. Nice. I am, eating, I am eating nothing but like fillets steak fillets 
crazy enough, I started a diet. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I'm eating nothing but ass. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, cows or chickens? Either. Okay. I'm not picky. I'm sure. Nice. Uh, but yeah, and so I'm I'm like trying to get all healthy and stuff. Oh, and cool. Trying to cut some weight. Right yeah. on. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I there was a guy kid I worked with that was oh my god he was built like a brick shit house mm-hmm. but he ate like five or six times a day and it was grilled chicken and rice yeah every fucking time mm. and i can't like, have rice he yeah no rice no rice no 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 carbs no none at all no grain yeah, yeah that fucking periodic table is flipped all on its ass right now i can't i can't they say red anything. meat's not great for you uh well bull fucking shit i'm eating all of it and it's and it's the same price as like going to chipotle it's yeah. the same thing. You yeah. can go and get fillets and then like cook them at home. Yeah, and it's the same yeah. goddamn thing. Uh, a buddy of mine uh, made them in the air fryer. They're actually really good. Yeah, uh, but they were ribeyes because they uh, have a lot of fat on them. Yeah, kind of like fried the fat. Same yeah. thing. Yeah, it was pretty same good. thing. Yeah. So turning my life around. Congrats. You know, trying awesome, to be man. trying to be better. Super happy for you. Stuff. I am. I still eat at Quick Trip every night. Extremely excited. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You yeah, guys that, are so- that is yeah. that is just that for- is a destructive behavior. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just get it over with. They have fruit and salad. Yeah, but I don't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, sure. their macaroni and cheese is actually pretty good. Their fucking pizza is bomb. Yeah, they're, they're, not uh, nearly as good as I'll, Casey's. Yeah, how that's far, true. How far has Quick Trip spread? Like, I know it, it's mainly a Midwest thing, but no, I, no, no, I know no, no, it's, no, it's, it's Atlanta, it's, yeah. Dallas. Okay, uh, it's moving down south. Oh, Colorado. Now they're getting ready to open mm-hmm. if yeah, they haven't in already. Texas, what was the Texas, uh, Texas one? Texas, Bucky's. Texas is like Valero and they're Bucky's. in Texas too now. Dude, racetrack oh, wow. is in racetrack Texas. too. Yeah. I love racetrack because they always have Nathan's hot dogs. Yeah. They're so good. Bucky's is the best though. Bucky's is legit. Bucky's is like a fucking quick trip on on. So they're much. actually putting a truck stop travel center in at 47th and hydraulic a quick and if you like it's is it bucky's no but well then it, it can suck it yeah okay, i agree man. with that it, go fuck yourself bucky's bucky's is a is a is a mecca yeah that's for, true for they have everything a gas man. station that yeah. is that is the yeah for uh, sure epitome of gas stations and it's on fucking roids uh but anyways uh just curious question uh but anyways uh that is my week that is all of our weeks hope all of you guys had a great week uh we're gonna kick this uh headlines off these are current events that happen in sports we got to kick it off with obviously nobody gives a shit uh that's sitting down here yeah uh but in baseball uh the texas rangers win their very first world series congratulations yay yeah I know All we have right. a hey. Well, I, that was next, fun. I, I know. All right. So I, what else we got? I know here? we have a lot of <laughs> listeners down there in Texas, and I'm I'm happy for you because you guys won, and not the cheating pricks. Uh, yeah, exactly. To uh, Houston. So congratulations. I'm happy yeah, you guys man. won. Uh, but, uh, next thing, I don't know if you guys have seen it over and over and over again on all your social medias, but it is like every third or fourth video that I get sent. And I guess there was a big WWE pay-per-view that had Logan Paul against my favorite wrestler, probably of all time, which is Rey Mysterio. And he tried to do like a back, uh, moonsault, which is like a backflip into like a body splash kind of thing. And he... Very, he he like uh, under jumped it by quite a bit, almost fell on his fucking head. But Logan Paul caught him and probably saved him from a pretty serious injury. Well, that makes me want to buy Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you should. The fucking luck out of this. Uh, but so everybody's given given Logan Paul some like major pub now because even though he's only been like in wrestling for like four or five matches or something and that he he was a, smart enough to see something he's bad a happen. Fucking douchebag. Still a douche, but yeah. uh, I like him. Do you really? Uh, no, I don't even I really know who he is. I, uh, can't, I can't say that I, I like him or dislike him. him. <laughs> well, yeah, but, for the yeah, money. Yeah, but, yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it. I would probably fuck him for the money would. too. Yeah, but, well, he's not a bad it's, looking uh, guy. No, yeah, he's in uh, shape. He's, yeah, his old his older brother's the annoying one. He's the he's the more of a boxer esque. Yeah, he's a fucking yeah. douche. They're Wait, girls. is that? Uh, which one's the one that like went to the suicide forest or whatever, and then that's probably Logan. People that was hanging. Logan. That's got to be that Logan. Logan. Yeah. yeah, he was kind of a yeah. douche. He he's, still he's is. He's still there. But they are douches. They're yeah. the. I mean, they're like the the. They're like Island Boys light. That's basically <laughs> what they are. Here's what so. I wish would happen. I wish somebody would say I was a douche and I had billions of dollars. <laughs> I would just be like, I would I know, use hundred dollar right? bills yeah. to dry all my these, yeah, non like tears. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's like great. all these people hating on Taylor Swift. I don't. I mean, you can hate her if you want to, but uh, she's a billionaire. Oh, I don't hate and, Taylor Swift. I no. just get sick and tired of the fucking coverage when I'm trying to watch a football, football game. game. I don't yeah. care. Right? You know what I mean? Right. And they make such, a, such huge a huge fucking deal. deal about it. That's a good point. Now actually. there's stats, but they're growing. As to when yeah. what Kelsey does when she's when there, she's when there, she's yeah. not there. Right. Like, dude, yeah. it's kind of fucking weird. It really is. That's a great point. I actually, I don't think I actually hate Taylor Swift. No, not at all. I don't think I hate her or her music. I hate her her Swifties. So That's who I hate. So here's the deal. stupid Swifties. I hate. I hate them. <laughs> Dude, we could walk up to his ridiculous. bedroom right now, and he has like guaranteed. He's a Swifty, guaranteed. He's got a sweater that says "I'm a Swifty." Guaranteed, yeah, yeah. No, for, sure. for sure. Not even close. I don't yeah. want to be affiliated with those people. I, I don't want to be. If you don't have one, I know I what I'm getting you for Christmas. So why don't we? Why don't we have this under the? Uh, what is it? The what's worse or whatever shitty situation? Uh, well, we can get. We can make it there whenever we get there. I'm. I'm. I'm serious. Either hey, you can't either just come in up, and start reformatting the fucking yeah. show, man. <laughs> <Bitch>. Okay. <laughs> either we have to put up with fucking Your guest. All right, I'll save it. I'll save, <laughs> save it. Save it till later. <laughs> I'm gonna save it for a shitty situation of yeah. a week suggestion. But no, <laughs> see, okay. Here's here's a good here's a good explanation with my Taylor Swift situation. Okay, I don't I don't care that that she came out with a movie that's gonna make her a billion dollars. What pisses me off is I'm in the movie theater right next door to that one, and mm-hmm. all I can hear is these fucking kids screaming their dicks off, and that pisses me off when I'm trying to watch a, a new movie. I go Do in you, afterwards and pick up the dicks <laughs> <laughs> yeah do they're you, all under uh, 18 though jb do you like yell at the squirrels in your yard or anything oh, <laughs> like, you know, my get off the wall. <laughs> i love the squirrels in my yard they're okay. nice well all right yeah okay that's enough uh moving on uh the miami dolphins and the kansas city chiefs while we're going down the what taylor swift shitty road shitty game mm. I uh, was I had bet the over on that one. I did for not. Sure. Uh, that was part of my parlay that I uh, ended up winning. Damn it! Uh, but yeah, they go uh, the Chiefs and the Mi- and Miami Dolphins go over to uh, Germany. And uh, I've been to Frankfurt. It's a shithole. <laughs> I have. Oh yeah, I've been there many times. Really? Yeah. Okay. Actually, the downtown area kind of sucks once you get out and Outskirts. away from like the train station. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Well, uh, they tried to have a football game there, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, that was supposed to be like the equivalent of the Super Bowl, yeah. kind of, sort of, yeah. for the AFC. Yeah. Okay, an AFC championship. Very basically. disappointing. And it was very disappointing. Very um, disappointing. I still say that uh, the Chiefs aren't that good, and uh, the Dolphins haven't haven't beaten a single winning team. They, yeah. they have not beat a team with a winning record. Hmm. So, mm, it's kind of still up in the air. Uh, I think that the Dolphins and the Lions are very, very similar, and the Lions are my team. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, but that uh, was not as fun of a game as possible. The only thing that I really love about games in Germany is I found out. Okay, you know if you go to Germany and go to like a, either a, a football game or a soccer slash football game, whatever they want to call it, mm-hmm. they always sing Country Roads by John Denver. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know why that is? No. Because at the time that that oh do you not know are you from no no fucking I don't, idea yeah why would we know that this is the weirdest I feel fact like it's I've weird that you think of. I would know it it's no this is like a real deal like okay, okay so whenever you had the separation between West Germany and East Germany okay. like uh, the people who were um, not Nazi fucks. Uh, really want, really liked anything Few and far between any anything yeah. anything American. Like seven of them. <laughs> well, but the, but certain, woke. certain <laughs> things were illegal. Like they couldn't listen to certain things, so it was yeah. like the cool thing to do. And then John Denver is the most fucking American name you could possibly have at the time. Sure. So they fell in love with Country Roads. So now if you go to a public event in Germany, They're they will sing Country okay. Roads, Take Me Home, and they right. know every fucking word. It's right a pretty on. fucking cool story. Uh, but yeah, they did that. Das kannst du roads. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Hey, fuck you. I want to go over there and have a good time. Okay? I go like ahead, it, dude. Yeah. I like it, dude. Go for uh, it, man. You're rich. I don't want to go too much into the football stuff, so we'll we'll finish off with, I guess, this thing in, in football. Um, there was actually a pretty cool story. Uh, quarterback Josh Dobbs, he was actually the, the – well, he was the current quarterback for the Arizona Cardinals while uh, Kyler Murray was uh, trying to rehab and come back. Mm-hmm. Um and uh, he didn't do too bad for the Cardinals, but uh, whenever the uh, Minnesota Vikings lost Kirk Cousins to uh, for the rest of the season, they needed to make a trade. So they trade for Josh Dobbs. Last week, he, I think, touched down on the plane, uh, maybe had a couple of reps with like the practice squad, 
uh, and was not supposed to play in this week's game. However, the backup quarterback that did start ended up getting hurt. So a guy that has absolutely no like camaraderie with the team has absolutely no playing time with the Vikings at all Mm -hmm. ends up winning the fucking game and playing like the game of his fucking life. Oh, JP you mean he did is shocked. You mean he did sports, JP what he's been doing his entire life. Shot. JP to this point. It's amazing. No, I'm shocked. I what? couldn't believe it. You got wow. me shocked. Oh. You said you said Kirk Cousins. Let's talk about something important. My no. new favorite commercial is the one where the Green Bay dude's like, yeah, go pack, go. And he busts into his friend's house and everybody's wearing Minnesota jerseys. <laughs> and they're like, but we just love Kirk Cousins. He's so nice. After they watch the quarterback movie. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know why I like that. Uh, but no, I thought it was pretty cool. He's also like a fucking rocket scientist, this uh, Josh Dobbs guy. I oh, yeah. doubt He's that. like, no, he's really, he, he no. actually is a fucking no. genius. I hear that the... Uh, Cowboys are going to pick up Blossom next week. Oh. She's also a rocket scientist, <laughs> so I imagine she'll play very well. Okay, yeah, that's sure. fine. Uh, anything else that uh, did you since you did so well down there, Steve? What what did you bet on? Uh, uh, what the fuck was it? What game? I don't know. Oh, the Bears game. Uh, uh, no, I bet. No. I bet a hundred. No, what did I bet? I bet fifty bucks. That the Bears would be tied at the end of the at the at the half, okay, and then the Bears would win, and that paid like fourteen hundred dollars or something. Did they win? And I was like, no, 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 no. Okay. So I was like, wait a second, I think they're going to be tied because this is a live bet. Oh, I was okay, like, I, I definitely think they're going to be tied. So why wouldn't I just bet both teams? And then it doesn't matter. Oh, so yeah, then matter. I bet fifty on tied, and then. Um, whoever they were playing yeah Fuck. i don't know i was drinking a lot of mimosas that day uh <laughs> anyway would win and then they did and so i i made good money on that well that's go good good yeah. for, good for yeah. you yeah finally so okay the bears won me some money by losing that's enough of the sports now i get to the fun events the fun current events okay, uh there was a story this. there's a story that's actually making its way around the social medias that i think you guys will really fucking enjoy i can't wait uh no there's there's the first one the first one is is that there is a uh there's a young lady yeah. Uh, she's probably in her mid-20s. The teacher? Nope. Oh. Uh, I saw that one, though, too. She's a nice broad. <laughs> she's a nice broad. She is. Mm-hmm. She's yeah. making lots of money now, isn't she? Yeah, fuck yeah, she is. Is that the one a you're thinking of? A million dollars a fucking year. My wife goes, what was she doing? I go, she was on OnlyFans. And she goes, well, what was she doing on OnlyFans? I go, playing with her fucking pussy. What yeah, do you well. expect? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't be mad if you made a yeah. million dollars a year. I'll just buy you whatever you need. Yeah. We'll make a what studio. I'll fuck fucking have you set what up. You yeah. Whatever you got. Yeah. Where was that fucking 20 years ago when I looked good naked? You know what I mean? Oh, I'd have been rich. I should have been rich. Dude, I don't know if any of you guys follow. Um, uh, why did that just escape me? Son of a bitch. Shane Gillis. Yeah, I love but, Shane okay, Gillis. Okay, so yeah. Gillian Keeves, their little sketch yeah, show yeah, they have. their skits. The dad that's doing OnlyFans. Have you seen that skit? Uh-uh. No. Bro. Check that out. Holy shit. Everybody listening to this right now, check out Gillian Keeves. There's two of them that are the funniest. When he's a football coach, that's racist. Okay. <laughs> and then he changes his ways in like a week. And then when he's the uh, OnlyFans dad. Oh, dude. It's and then oh, and then when he's Donald Trump that accidentally went to a speed dating event. <laughs> because at one point he goes, I don't know what happened. I just stumbled into this pussy buffet. <laughs> and it's fucking hilarious but yeah dude that gillian keeves is hilarious that I, always makes me think of that i it's still so think shane funny. gillis is gonna be the next big like dude, the he's, biggest oh, he's he's such a like, oof like you know what i mean just like an oaf like yeah. he's just a a big dumb genuinely animal too. and he's so yeah. genuine yeah. he's so fucking genuine. genuine yeah and all of his material i just watched his other special uh a couple weeks ago and dude, it's so great yeah, it's, it's just excellent. so natural and so you know he thinks of this weird shit. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes, that's what like makes when he, it when great. He did, uh, he did stand up on the spot, and somebody just yelled out, autism. And he <laughs> yes. goes, 
He goes, you know, uh, autistic kids are like cats. <laughs> we don't really know if they like you or not. Yeah. But then the Down syndrome kids are just like dogs. <laughs> they just come up and give you a hug every single time. I was like, holy shit, dude. And he thinks a weird shit like that. Yeah, he does. Spot. So it was good. But that, uh, but back to what we were initially talking about. I was not talking about the uh, OnlyFans mom. I was talking oh. about. It was the, an OnlyFans teacher. Oh, yeah, teacher. Way. Sorry. She has glasses on. She has a big nose. Yeah. But. I'd yeah, see her naked. I'll catch them soon. I mean, especially whenever you only got to pay like what five, six bucks. I it, think it's five bucks a month. And see, this it's, crazy it, broad, it varies. She has made a million dollars a year. Take like, their you money. Can charge, you can charge whatever you want. And then she said she was sad that she couldn't continue her forty-seven thousand dollar a year yeah. teaching job. <laughs> Fuck them kids. And people are like, oh my god, teachers get paid so little that they have to go to sex work. And I'm like, I don't. I don't think that's the one that put her over the hump. No. I think she was just like, I'm a horny bitch. And <laughs> Let's do see you want to see my this. fucking box for $6 a month? Let's do Dude, this. <laughs> if I knew I'm fat, I have a tiny penis. I'm kind of weird looking. I have these weird fucking love handles and shit. But if somebody was like, I'm, there's got to be somebody out there that's like, I'm really into that. It's probably not a woman. No, it's not. But I it's still, dude. <laughs> but still. He's I'm sitting just, right, right dude, next to you right I, now. Yeah. If I was like. Oh, I'd pay if, six a month. Yeah. If yeah. all it took was like, you know. 100%. I don't know. Me sticking my tiny dick in the mashed potatoes at Thanksgiving or something on camera. Or the Hold stuff. Up. The stuffing would be the best. Dude, I think we the may stuffing, be onto something it's warm. here. It's so warm. <laughs> we may be but onto no, something. And I would then do you that film the dinner a, too. Oh, fuck yeah. I would do that in a heartbeat. You know? Hey. Question. Yeah. Thanksgiving's coming up. Should I know? Should, that's true. I could stir the gravy with my wiener for sure. I have a question. Well, kind of. I have a question. And then like I'll clean it off before straw. you put it back in the potato. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Should here's an idea. Should we idea instead of get an OnlyFans? Instead of putting our shit out on Spotify and YouTube, put it out on OnlyFans. Put it out on OnlyFans. Bert they Kreischer have a did. lot. Yeah, they have a ton of yeah. actual. Burt Kreischer, Whitney Cummings, people, uh, yeah. Nikki Glaser, like yeah. all those people. Yeah, yeah. it's becoming hmm. more of like a mainstream. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not just not yeah. just pussy. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm intrigued. But then every once in a while, we get JB on JP on there to do some kind of a fun. Dude, video. I had a bartender that worked for me. She made four hundred dollars a night. Uh, just showing pictures of her feet. I heard about OnlyFans. girls like that. That's and fucking she said ridiculous. That the thing was is people want to see you smash shit with your feet. So she would have to like smash cake and and shit like that. And I was like, hmm. what the All fuck? Right. <laughs> Can you send me a link? What? <laughs> what? I got an extra I, six I think bucks feet this month. I think he feet are fucking gross, but that chick had huge titties. So I kind of wondered <laughs> if she started smashing cake like a, with her yeah, titties. Just, there's yeah, there's yeah, unlimited earning potential there. Amazing. What has this fucking world come to right now, dude? I just wish I that we'd have got there 20 years ago. I right? know. I, said. I know. So I new, agree. new question. How much would it, how much would you charge to put a, a tattoo of your spouse's name across your forehead? Big, have, big letters. I don't have a spouse. If you did, if you did, would you, would you do it? And if so, how I much mean, would it cost? I definitely would do it. I just don't know. Here's I don't the deal. Know a, a I, would, I would put Walmart's name across my <laughs> forehead probably because my spouse and I have the same bank account, and I know that crazy bitch can't pay me enough just, money to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but Walmart would. Yeah. They'd be like, all right, if you advertise for us, okay. we're going to pay I you $1,000. I don't or think or I would something. do it with my spouse's name, but I agree. If it's aver like, if yeah. you want to tattoo some advertising on me, Dude, I'd definitely sell. Here's the deal. I would tattoo JP's OnlyFans address on my forehead for $7 a month. Hold just, on. Just, <laughs> hold on. Just, Let me, just, uh, just a percentage uh, of what he would make. Oh, yeah. That's ten, all 10% yeah. of his, ten, of his, that, of his butthole go. picks. See, that's what you need. You just uh, need the percentage. And what glorious picks they'd be. Those are royalties. Uh, yeah. no, there was Some that, people are probably into Harry Potter. <laughs> maybe. Um, <laughs> there's somebody who's I into watching feet. Feet smash potatoes and stuff. Dude, they love it. It's they love it. They really do. Cake. Wait, I, I don't know. think that's stupid. I think you have to respect everybody's no, fuck cake. yeah, man. That's fine. Fuck yeah. But I don't People get it. Weird. I don't get it. I don't. Anyways, I don't know. There was a girl. I, mean, I like to be pissed on. There's some people that like pain. No, I'm some people just like kidding. fucking. I'm just kidding. No, there's some I'm people that can't get off unless no, no. they're fucking shot in the my face ex, or something. My ex like, does weird. this thing where he hangs himself from hooks. No, -uh. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what? A, like a really side of beef? Yeah. Holy fuck, yeah. dude! I'll show you some pictures. No, I dated, no, I dated, no. I dated a chick. I dated a chick that used to no. like she would she would scratch up 
my back so bad that Ooh. it was like, dude, I just couldn't do it anymore. But uh, in in my defense, she squirted so much that I w- I would have to have sex with her on the floor. <laughs> Because I didn't want to ruin my bed. mattress. Yeah. Wow. Like it was it was fucking bad. Wow. And then the first time I was like, hey, like um, I made a little pallet on the floor for it. She's like, <laughs> she's like, yeah, this other guy that I used to have sex with made me oh, do it on the shit. floor too. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I don't feel like such an asshole yeah. now. But I seriously, a, that's I'm used like to I, sh- I felt like I should put a fucking tarp down, you know? <laughs> Like, it was have, bad. It was really bad. I have it a full really episode right here, and I don't even want to do it anymore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hijack. No, you, you're the one that brought up all the sex I th- stuff. I think it's great. I think it's excellent. Oh, yeah. uh, no, I, I think it's great. But We still haven't got to the point. No, we haven't. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have not. By right. the way, I had a counseling appointment today for the first time ever. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, my wife made me go. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, walked me in. <laughs> the guy's name... <laughs> The guys, I'm 46. Uh, I spent 10 years as a high threat security contractor in Iraq and Afghanistan. Before that, I was a cop. I've been a comedian. I've worked in bars. Uh, and the guy that was going to be my counselor and guide me through uh, being healed is 26, and his name is Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he weighs half as much as Scotty. <laughs> and. Uh, He's just, he has the most, (laughs) he literally has the most punchable face I've ever seen in my fucking life. He's so sweet. You just want to, you just want to give him a hug. Like I literally was like, I don't think I want to do this to you. Like, I don't think I want to talk to you about all the things, you know, because I think he'll just be like, holy fuck dude. Like, I feel like I will fuck him up. Yeah. I really do. Like, I really, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like he's, he's bright eyed and bushy tailed and ready to, you know, social justice his way through this life and save everybody and just help the homeless. I think that was his initial goal. And now he has a 46 year old overweight alcoholic that gambles too much in his office going, yeah, this one time I had to pick up this fucking dead body. They, they think it fucked with me, but I don't really think that it did. But now I can't eat fucking cashews anymore. It, you know what I mean? And so it was uh, it, it was an eye opening experience for him, I think. And, 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 and this is a 110 percent true story. At the end of the session, he goes, hey. Uh, you might want to go with a different therapist in this office. He, he totally said this. He goes, I'm thinking about going into, um, it, he said, I'm thinking about going into my own practice. And, uh, you know, that would be a few months out, but I don't want to go down this road with you. And then you, you feel like you have to find somebody else. And I literally, I don't know why, but I go, nope, bro, I'm going to roll with you. And he goes, because <laughs> I think he thought he had like his way out. Yeah. And then, you're like, no. Nope. And he goes, uh, uh, um, okay, so you're, so you just want to stay going to therapy with me? And I said, yeah. And he goes, oh, okay. Um, how often would you like to go? He goes, we could go twice a week. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said once a week is fine, and then he scheduled me three weeks in a row. <laughs> Very well. I looked him up on Facebook, and he is just fucking little. Like, I don't know how to. He's just a little fella that's so sweet, and he's probably never. Like, I, I accidentally smuggled Mexicans across the border one time. Like, dude, there's so many fucking things that I've done that this kid has no fucking. Like, he's like, that shit's real. You know, <laughs> I thought that only happened in movies. I know. Yeah. People ask me all the time, <laughs> how, how is it that you are able to surround yourself with people who make a successful podcast? You have no idea how much like fun I have with these fucking people. Well, I have a lot they of mental health issues. Uh, he stories did, he out did, the ass. Uh, he did diagnose. He goes, have you ever been diagnosed with anything? And oh. then he pulled out a book the size of a Bible. <laughs> And I was like, no, goes, I've never been officially diagnosed. And he goes, I think we should diagnose you. <laughs> and so I've been diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder. Really? Yeah, because I'm scared of uh, getting cancer. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's like, that's my big anxiety thing. Like, I have okay. health anxiety. Yeah. 
Quit and drinking. Then, uh, yeah, see, that's a double-edged sword. So <laughs> I, I told him, I said, uh, you it's know, I drink. It's or the cocaine. He you goes, choose. how often do you drink? And I said, about every day. And I go, but I'm very functioning. I don't drink until like 5 p.m., 6 p.m. I never get a hangover. And he goes, well, how much do you drink? And I go, yeah. 12 beers a day something like that <laughs> as, as you're on your like, third yeah since and we started like, uh, this show yeah he's like oh uh why and i go because it's better than prozac <laughs> you know yeah. like it really is and he goes but what is your attitude like when you drink and i go i am so much more fun yes. oh. i like i can be a fucking dick to my wife when i get home and then two jameson's in i'm like i love you more than any human <laughs> being i've ever met and my like i'm not the angry psycho shithead drunk guy yeah. i become way more fun and nice when i drink because i relax yeah yeah i'd say that's 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 accurate that's 100 percent accurate and i i think i'd like to try smoking weed sometime but i'm scared of it because it did give me a, a I went to the hospital one time because I got too high. Super idea. Yeah. I, I was trying to fuck a girl in high school. That's totally what happened. She had great tits. She was. We were seventeen, and uh, and I thought that would be my way in. It worked. Okay. Ten percent worth the trip to the hospital. Always. But uh, this I is had, great. This is. But so I got good. so high. I got. I got I anxiety, this. and I made my mom take me to the house uh, to the hospital. And um, the nurses are not nice to you if you get too high from weed and yep. go to the hospital. This it's is so bad. This dude. is a it's question. So fucking this is bad. a question coming up. But before Shut we go, up. no, are you serious? Yeah, huh? Oh, uh, I didn't read your stupid I, fucking text. I, I know today. you didn't. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's so didn't even text I didn't, me. I, I didn't do it on purpose because I always like to just the first thing that comes off. I don't like to prepare. That is all. actually yeah. that is my. Te I don't have to worry about JP because he's always here, mm -hmm. but I send out that text message just to remind you. That's like a soft reminder. Of For everybody you, listening, Scotty sends out all the questions and perguntas and <laughs> all that shit, <laughs> and he's like, here's up. all the questions. Like, we're going to study it or some no. shit before the show. This some is, people do. Th yeah, some people no. do. believe oh, that, yeah. and they write Weird. down their Oh, yeah. Oh, Fucking yeah. Mike Baldwin, you yeah. dork. No, it's, yeah. not it's not Mike. I love it's, Mike Baldwin. He's Hey, he just released a special. Have we talked about that yes, at all? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. Okay, yeah, it's thank coming, God, it's dude. Coming and it's I have, I have opened for that fucking guy more times than any other comedian in the history of comedians, and I still sit there and watch his set every single time and laugh my fucking ass off Mike. like I just haven't heard these jokes 30 fucking times. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah. So what I was going to say, because you, you kind of went off on your own tangent there, um, <laughs> we still haven't gotten to the I, point. I feel like I, I we're not going to at this point. A little. No, we're not going okay. to. Yeah, uh, but, but if but, it's this one, um, Mike, I think we should talk about that. Well, we will. We'll get okay. there. Right. But but my serious my serious thing though is is that um, this is my question for JP because JP is going to have to be involved. Fuck yeah! First in post, the OnlyFans. First post. Yep. First post of the OnlyFans. Okay. Is you? Wait, you. <laughs> <laughs> I pointed it at myself and said, you No, you, me and JP uh -huh. someplace to where we can be monitored and yeah. getting high off of our ass and, and record it and put we it on. You have to be uh, naked though. Cause no, you only don't. fans. We no, can do don't. that right now. I think you have to be naked. <laughs> no, you don't. It's not a requirement. Oh, it works better. If it's on OnlyFans, I think you have to be. I no. think we should be. But we can't put fucking JP in the middle of us. He's like, I'm downhill skiing yeah. the whole fucking yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then this is great. And then I don't know if I can stop him. <laughs> I'll be like, right. oh, yeah. no, don't. My <laughs> pole broke. <laughs> <laughs> you and me will be baked off for hours, and JP's just sitting over there going, what the fuck is wrong oh, with no. these guys? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> we, Shit. All we did was have secondhand <laughs> smoke. And we're fucking done. Anyways, okay, we got to move on with the rest of the current events. We have one fucking thing left, and I wanted to say it because I figured I'd want to know what what you guys think of this. Do it. This is another story that's rolling around the social medias, but uh, there was a girl in Amsterdam mm -hmm. that went to a bachelorette party. This nice. bachelorette party had JP's Halloween costume as a glory hole, right? Yeah, that was my Halloween costume. Shut sure. the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, sure that's was. Awesome. Anyways, uh, had <laughs> he's still. <laughs> You That's fucking hilarious, dude. Awesome. That is fucking hilarious. You there, let go of the good ones. there was a glory hole at this particular bachelorette party, and uh, this one gal decided that I she was like going to get missing out on bachelorette. Yeah, parties. that she was going to get absolutely shit face drunk. And uh, possibly start uh, sucking off some guys in the glory hole. Yeah. Well, okay. there is also a, uh, it's like one of those windows that if you push a button, you can see through the other side. Oh, okay. And, and that was only for the girl. 
So oh, she Oh, so she can see who she can she's, see sucking, who she's off. sucking off. Okay. okay. She starts sucking this dude off yeah, in nice. this glory hole and like, she this tastes familiar. She no. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> But she decides to push this uh, little button that reveals who uh, she's sucking off. Should never do that. Never do that. That shouldn't even be an option. I guarantee you she will never do that again because guess who it was? It was her dad. No. It was her fucking dad. Her real dad. dad. Her real dad. She was sucking the dick of her father. I mean, okay, so it. then I have questions <laughs> about I have questions about this whole family dynamic. Yeah, you've got is dad at a glory on? hole. You've got daughter sucking off at a glory this hole. Is like weird. I this don't. Was, I guess this is Amsterdam. They're it is more, Amsterdam. They are a, a lot more freer open. than we yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I I don't know how true this is. All I know is this is the story. Hopefully it's not true. The weirdest part of it is she was like, "Oh, well, fucking yeah, and, turn, and then we, went around the divider and just finished the jump." I, I think, think we, if, I think we need to see a video to confirm. I agree. And the other thing is, is that if you're the kind of person that's gonna go and glory hole suck dicks, I guess I'm just not quite shocked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, yeah later, like I, I, it's hard to be. You're gonna super, suck somebody you know. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually yeah, you're gonna eventually. get. Eventually, yeah. so yeah. Eventually you're gonna get what's coming to you, right? Oh. <laughs> God, <laughs> is that cannibalism? <laughs> well, that's why would she? She just ate her hit brother. The button? What a dumbass! <laughs> she just ate you her brother. You never hit the button. I always, I did hit the button. I did hit the button. You hit the button to see who you were sucking off. Oh no, not that button. Oh. I hit the, I hit the, I hit the drum button, but no. Oh yeah, no. Anyways, thank God we got through that, but I was having a lot of fun. But that is this week's headlines. Now we get to move on to the stuff I that like you know. It. You guys actually want to listen to, <laughs> and that is uh, the first segment. This is the new segment. This is the never have I ever. The first one makes a lot more sense with the context now. Yeah. Because it, I yeah. just read it without yeah. knowing that's what we were. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. so we're going to kick this thing off with never have I ever. Uh, this one comes in from Facebook. This is Daniel Delaney. He comes, uh, he sends these Fucking from. Fucking Daniel. Yeah, he's from down under, mate. Oh, is oh, he really? Yeah. Hey. He's, no he, shit. Yeah, he's my, uh, he's my Australian buddy. I love this I guy. like those guys. Anyways, he Two, was, right? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't sound they like got, him. Oh, they're the fucking wallabies. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they, uh, Australians have they're accents good. from all over the place. Like down they have, a, they have a good fucking rugby squad that gets owned by the All Blacks, <laughs> just like everybody else, yeah. repeatedly. Everybody gets beat by the All Fuck Blacks. Fuck yeah. They make a hell of a blooming onion. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> There's no rules, just right. Just yeah. right. <laughs> but, but Foster's is shit. Anyways, yeah, that's not that's not good stuff. Anyways, uh, Daniel wants to know if uh, never have I ever waffle stomped a turd in the shower. So he hasn't. No, he's asking if we have. Oh, no, I have not. I accidentally pooped in the bathtub one time when I was younger, and I remember my mom being like, "What is that?" And I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> and then she made me get out and drain the bathtub, and I had to take a shower. <laughs> I think I was 14. But she didn't, but still, but she did, but she didn't waffle stomp it, right? No. I just, it just floated around. Uh, I am so scared of what JP is going to say right uh, now. So when you clean, oh, when you clean out. No, oh, God, no. gosh. This is going to be. This is going to be a gay version of Roto-Rooter. <laughs> yeah, it's basically that. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, you know what? I'm just going to let you guys use your imagination. <laughs> So uh, I'm not going to say I haven't. I'm not going to say I have, but I have. <laughs> so how uh, many times a week do you prepare for a colonoscopy? Oh, at l- well, you know I what s- I mean? Like you have to drink I'm a the stuff. Good gay. Okay. So okay. I stay ready. So oh. every shower you just, it's like maintenance, man. You know, okay. it's like changing right. the oil in your car, but I change it every at least every other day instead of every 5000 miles or whatever you're nice to do. <sighs> okay I like, that. <clears throat> I like okay. that okay anyways great question that's a good question uh, Dan- oh, daniel delaney hey. <laughs> the, the next question the next is question's super good super crazy yep. too never have i ever pulled on a door that says push oh definitely have i don't i think everybody has fucking scotty came up with that one no. surely everybody has no no come on i have never pulled on a door you that says definitely push. done no that. absolutely yeah, at some point i yeah, have yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for no, i sure. point and laugh whether at you're drunk whether you just oh. aren't awake surely you've done that that's a good point come i guess I, I guess if i had been drinking i may have but yeah, i don't sure i don't remember have. because i was i was drunk 
Yeah. Uh, but so, anyways. Uh, next one. This one comes in from Instagram. This is from devdev uh, underscore 47. He wants to know, never have I ever sent my friends a photo of my poop. <laughs> Huh. I like being um, up here a little better. Okay. Uh, yes, 100%. <laughs> I have worked with military guys for 10 years. So there's been poop. There's been girls doing stuff. Like, yeah, it's uh, we, we there's really no shame. Um, so, yeah, it's, okay, it's, it's pretty a good. a yes from Steve. Yep. Scotty. Big, big yes. I have received such pictures, and they make me throw up. Really? Uh-huh. I, now I know what to get you I for have, Christmas. I know it, it is not a good thing. I no, I never ever send pictures of my poop to anybody. Uh, I don't Scotty care doesn't how poop. big it is. I yeah. don't care. It it's not for sending pictures. It's not. So no, I yeah, have you not didn't, done that. You didn't say who sent that in. Yeah, I did. Oh, Dev you, Dev you were, Yeah, you were adjusting oh, your fucking sorry. chair over there, dude. I just like being taller. That's so fine. I've never sent a photo of my poop, but my uncle and I. Used to play this game. Oh, God. Where oh is that why you? If it was okay. a, if it was a big one, no, 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 different game, different game, different <laughs> uncle. Uh, <laughs> Couldn't pray the gay away on yeah, that one. Different uncle. We used to play this game. He called them trophies. Oh, so whenever you had a big one, you just leave it in the toilet. Oh, for the God. next person. Yeah, that's terrible. So my that. wife, my wife doesn't want to wake me up at night. So I get up way before her every morning, and she goes and pisses. I swear to you, my wife has a fucked up prostate. I'm pretty sure she's a half man or something because she she pisses in the middle of the night, and I don't at all. Yeah. And it's always just fucking floating around in there in the morning. And the first thing I do is I flush it before I do anything, and it pisses me off every single Just wake me the fuck up. I don't want to see that. Yeah very gross it is gross um anyways uh next one this comes in from instagram this is from alex shinover uh he wants to know that might be shinaver shinaver i think it's shinaver it's you know what it's shinaver now uh he wants to know never have i ever shit myself in public and carried on with my day yeah never well there's gonna be a pause (laughs) yeah like you're no. just not gonna fucking hang around in it like yeah that's what he's saying is that you just oh, shit you your take pants. Your you don't, pants i don't wear underwear but i used to and that's probably happened to me once uh, once or more than once there's and no you, way the boxers end up in the trash can yeah and then you clean yourself and you just go on there is a reason why i carry an extra pair of underwear in every vehicle that i own yeah because you shit yourself a lot i don't shit myself a problem if you have to always have it no i I just it's just for a backup it's an emergency situation Hmm. it's it is an ejector seat for you know that situation and so i have at one point in my life not had an extra pair of underwear in my vehicle he just made his shitty underwear goose which means (laughs) that i had to go to the nearest walmart going commando and it felt really weird. So yeah. ever since, mm. I've always had a spare pair of underwear okay. in my truck. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Anyways, mm. uh, this next one that comes in from Facebook, this is from Jeff Friedman. I modified it so it kind of would make sense. But anyways. Because ne- Jeff's not the brightest kid in the world, Wait, apparently. What? Now I want to see what it said before. Yeah. I mean, he, he gave me the idea. It was He had a good suggestion, but then he also had suggestions that he's, he's put in there like three or four times. And, and yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, he wants to know, never have I ever laughed so hard that I pissed myself. No. No. Are you fucking serious, Steve? No. I have pissed myself, but I have more a, of an on I purpose have a, thing. I have a strong pelvic floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't think no, I've ever laughed that hard. this has never happened. I, I I have never laughed so hard that I pissed myself. I, and believe me, I have laughed very, very hard when I had Shane, to go to the bathroom. Shane Lahari laughed so hard when we were at the Kansas City Comedy Club at Sam Talent uh, that he threw up. Wow. <laughs> he literally threw up. He had wow. to run to the bathroom and throw nice. up. Um, but I've never, no, I've never pissed myself laughing. Wow. I was pretty certain, if anybody, it would be JP. No. Okay. Yeah, if anybody ever... Uh, wants to go see the coolest comedy show ever that they their stomach will literally oh, hurt dude. sam talent so by far amazing. is one of the funniest fucking human beings i've ever seen nice. in my life uh all live. right i don't know i've never seen him not live so I don't know. oh dang it uh anyways uh this last one comes in from facebook uh, this is taylor moroski i'm gonna i'm gonna uh 
I'm gonna definitely edit this. Is Taylor, a, a bit. boy or a girl? Taylor's, Taylor's a girl. Taylor's a girl, okay. and, and she sounds awesome. hot. I have to apologize to her because last couple weeks ago I called her a cunt. And she's, what? And what uh, a dick! I don't know if she's a cunt or not, but I'm assuming she is because she's a woman. Um, <laughs> oh but she took man! A, I didn't. I didn't mean it like really badly and yeah. she took it really good she even commented on the the episode and everything and she's one of my m more favorite people now by the way yeah, good. I, I like her a lot i like her and a lot too. taylor you're not a cunt yeah you're a you're, nice lady she is and I, i'm sorry for calling you that yeah well what good thank dick. you very much yeah. uh but anyways uh, i'm gonna modify hers a little bit uh but she wanted to know never have i ever kept a secret from the people in this room for what what yeah so have From the people here in yeah, this room yeah huh here on this Wait, show is this her which one is she yeah yeah that's her yeah right this there. one yeah, yeah that's her oh she's hot <laughs> why do you think why do you think scotty always picks her suggestions you think that's exactly. accidental yeah. exactly I'm married come on she would do very well on only fans <laughs> For sure, dude. Yeah, she yeah, looks she like that at least a, a half a million oh, a at year. least. Maybe we could we, maybe we could advertise for her, and when she becomes a millionaire, she just gives us a percentage. Dude, I want to be. That's my dream job is to be an OnlyFans manager. Yeah, where me I too. come in and help you film the videos. Sure, and, you know, like a fluffer, but then I just get a percent. That's work. Yeah, I'd love it. Honestly, though, have you ever kept a, have you kept a, a, a secret, secret a secret from any well, of us? Here's the thing: I don't know you well enough to keep a secret from you. I don't think. Like, I don't oh, have man. any thing that i don't think there's anything you could ask me that i wouldn't answer truthfully yeah i think I just, i'm the same way i'm just not that guy yeah. i don't i don't have <clears throat> if the steve, shame i don't have the shame to keep now steve, steve this on motherfucker the other hand, has some secrets that he keeps from himself he, oh I yeah, yeah guarantee yeah. it yeah no i like god is like don't you have some secrets right yeah. i'm like I, that, that's between me and me <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I am the same way. I, yeah, I would right. tell either of these guys or anybody that's on the show everything. In fact, there was one night in particular where Steve was bartending and uh, his wife actually told me what she wanted to do to him whenever they got home and he's still alive here with us. So, uh -huh. so I figured I'd let that out of the bag since it was nice. a secret that I totally forgot that I had. All right. Anyways, that is Never Have I Ever. Now we get to move on to That's Where I Draw the Line. JP's favorite part Love of the it. show. Yeah, this is it. Okay, first uh, one, Big Frankie Garcia. Uh, no, actually, we're not oh. going to do that one first. Oh. I think. See, why better. do you put it on the paper like that if you're not going to fucking exactly. follow the rules, them, man? Because exactly. I just list this, them. This pisses me off. I list them, and I list them for a reason. And usually yes. he's getting pissed on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, but no, we're going to go back to this particular conversation because it came up already earlier. Right. I think sure. I like being up this high because I can see over JP's head and <laughs> I can look right at Scotty. Uh, it's yeah. nice. kind of nice. Uh, but anyways, this one comes in from Facebook. This is from Keith Litsky. He wants to know, uh, where do you draw the line? How high is too high? The only time that I've ever... <laughs> uh, the chair goes this high. I mean, like, I think this is, is this pretty high. It, no, my legs are showing over the table. Yeah, just I feel it. like that's about right. <laughs> is my head cut off I from the. Is it? No. Oh, all right. No, it doesn't cut it off. I look it. like a basketball player, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, I'm, uh, I'm. Well, who's the tallest player in the league? What, Scotty Pippen? <laughs> no, I don't, that, I don't yeah. think he's in the league yeah. anymore, man. Yeah. Oh, he's, uh, dude, he's marrying Michael Jackson's son <laughs> Jordan, or something. Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, Michael so, Jackson's so. son. Michael Jordan's son is marrying Scotty Pippen's ex-wife, and it is the weirdest fucking thing on planet <laughs> Earth, and I love every single second of it. Uh, and you funny. can tell that that kid is going to get his fucking heart crushed, <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Sorry. Anyways, uh, how high is too high? Uh, I don't know. I don't get high. You've never gotten high? I've gotten high once, and I went to the fucking hospital. I guess that's too I high. I guess that's too high. <laughs> that's that's way go. too fucking there high. There you go. There's that's, your answer. That, that's what I was getting to. You got to get to that point. Um, uh, I, it's, it's easy for me. I, I, uh, beer I have, number four well, in a 30 minute episode. That's okay. Um, yeah, it's way over 30 minutes by this point. Uh, but no, wow. the, the threshold Normally for me. Normally we're done by now. Really? No. <laughs> These motherfuckers. <laughs> the threshold for me is actually the, I, when I had a back problem, I smoked so much pot because I was trying to get some kind of back relief. Oh, I, I would have smoked oxycodone. I don't instead. do pills and I don't do that shit. So I, I just yeah, don't. I never have either. But anyways, I got so high that in the matter of maybe like 15 minutes, I sat on my couch and went to the door and looked out the peephole like <laughs> you told me 15 that 
15 times in yeah. 15 minutes. It was <clears throat> fucking ridiculous. So the yeah. only the only thing I can relate to that, like in adult life, is I had a doctor who <laughs> prescribed me Xanax, <laughs> um, nice which is oh, very nice. Holy man. shit, dude. Like that, I I took it twice, and I was like, I can't, oh, yeah. I can't, like I I had to throw it away because I knew, I knew, like I one hundred percent can. To- well, there's a different story after this, but the Xanax deal, I couldn't continue to take it because I knew that, like, I could walk into a doctor's office and they're like, "You are gonna die in thirty minutes," and I would be like, "I." That's fine. Can I have a sandwich? Yeah, like, you right. know what I mean? Yo, like there, 100%, nothing, 100%. nothing. But it was, it was the most relaxing thing I've ever been through. Hmm. Uh, and so I, 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 oh no, I had to. So this JP can relate to this, but I had a colonoscopy one time. <laughs> okay me too and uh yeah no not like a back alley one like a real one <laughs> like too. i went to a hospital or whatever yeah, it was me too and so i fucking it's I, worth the 500 i had i had pofafol the same shit oh, yeah. that killed michael jackson that shit is, oh yeah oh, that's legit and dude when i was in the fucking wake up room natalie told me that i don't even remember this she goes she goes you were just being so loud because i i don't get weird and aggressive and shit i just get funny and laugh and all that shit and I guess on Pofa Fall, it's the same way. But I was like, babe, I completely understand how people get addicted to this shit. It's <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> so I feel like that's too high. You know what I mean? Like when yeah. you when you don't have control of your functions of your, you know so, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't think weed okay. does that. I, I, so, I think that has to be a narcotic. Yeah, it, JP, doesn't you know? say, it just says how high is too high. So it doesn't necessarily I would mean say, weed. So. I would say fentanyl uh, not waking up again would be, yeah, too, that high. Would be too high. Yeah, yeah. But say I, uh, I don't know what that means. How high is too high? Because I don't yeah. ever get too high. No. Um, but I have. You use it like a medicine. Yeah. Like you just kind of maintain with it. I right? use it. I use it so like I don't jump off a bridge. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay well, don't, I, I get well, don't that. do that like that is a real thing i think like oh. that i didn't used to think that but i i really do i think that is a medicinal 100 oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's 100%. either that or some kind of antidepressant and anti-anxiety mm-hmm. and, and i was on all that fuck shit. pfizer dude, dude I was fuck sitting, pfizer I was, i'm paying the yeah, cartels no for sure yeah i'm not paying yeah. the u.s cartel no, which the no. fuck they are yeah yeah i'm paying the mexican ones so no i work never with them in construction high. never day, been too high i don't think so i mean Thank I'm God sure, we... that's not true i have i quit smoking for a long time mm-hmm. when i worked at qt oh, boy. and then one of my clerks one one he was like hey we're having this party come over i went over they're like hey you want to smoke and i'm like man it's been a long time but what the fuck so i did and that night i was too yeah, hot but that because was the PCP. shit i used to smoke was different yeah than what they smoke now so i literally oh. laid in bed and was like dear god if you just let me come down i'll never smoke weed again here's and then i smoked the next day here's how much of a fucking pussy i am the shit that i got too high on you had to get the stems and right seeds out. Nah, that's not great you know what i mean yeah that's i'm that's you better not yeah. get high again. i don't even drink caffeine because i feel like my heart's gonna beat out of my chest i drink water and booze those we're, are literally you should do an time. edible we're at an hour nope. and, and we it's, haven't nope. even, it's, it's nope. better it i was gonna do an edible my wife had me convinced to do it and then she came into our house 30 minutes later and i forgot to take my piece and she goes i can't feel my face and all my water keeps falling out of my mouth and i was like <laughs> i'm not doing that that's a true fucking story uh, i was uh, like i'm not doing that we're at uh, a, we're at an hour kids and we're not even to questions and preguntas yet so let's move this bad uh, well, boy on at least we're giving people something we to are, do today we We've are got in trouble no we didn't no we're, we're doing Sorry, just Mom. fine i'm yeah, having a lot of fun kidding. Uh, but anyways, next one. Uh, where Is that you... Matt Reif singing the fucking national anthem? No, it's not. No, it's uh, that's uh, the little gay kid from uh, American Idol. Is oh. It? oh, well, What's that's all name? of them. Okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> you're right. you make a fair point. Next I mean, one. This one comes in from Facebook. This is Frankie Garcia. Uh, oh no, that's the that's the last one. I'm sorry. Oh no, that oh. is Frankie Garcia. Fuck I'm sorry. Yeah. sorry Come on, Frankie. Frankie. Uh, Frankie know. Garcia. He wants to know uh, when your low fuel light is on. What is the least amount of miles to empty? You will continue to drive the car until you go to the gas station. I've just run out of gas before, so a lot, I guess. But that's when I had a Tahoe. 2017 Tahoe will run out of gas in 13 seconds after it says uh, low yeah. fuel. It really will. 
I I'm, thought I had like a few minutes. I'm such a fucking like goody two shoes. Your low fuel light never comes on. Never, does it? never. I t- I, yeah, I take your low fuel light could be burnt out and you'd never fucking know it. Exactly. Know. Yeah, I never no. know because I I, I pay Dumb. attention to the gas prices. Well, you're rich. No, I pay. Att- <laughs> you just if you need gas, you because get gas. I pay attention you to, have to what the price gas of gas like is. Steve and I do. <laughs> oh, no, I I look. I go. I go. Hey. <laughs> This is the lowest. Uh, it's, I know this is the low it's going to be all week. I'm going to go fill up now, so it'll save me I'm 10 so bucks. fucking lazy that I just don't want to do it, yeah. and so I'll push it pretty far. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's fine. That makes sense. Well, whenever you got to go p- get cigarettes, I'm guessing, is when you go fill up. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. That's pretty much. Yeah, that makes sense. Pretty much. Yeah. Anyways, next one. Uh, where do you draw the line? This comes in from Facebook. This is Tyler Plackey. He All wants, right. He wants to know how many floors of stairs does it take to choose to take the elevator instead? Kind of depends on how I feel. Sometimes okay. it could be Two four stairs. or five. <laughs> no, sometimes it could be four or five flights, mm-hmm. and I'm good with that just because I've been driving for a long time, especially when I was doing comedy. I'd want to get oh, the fuck yeah. out of the car. I want to move around, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I'll climb four, five, six flights of stairs. That's fine. No problem. Usually not with luggage. I mean, it's just going up and down. But uh, if we're just going down the stairs, 10 flights is fine. That's no big deal. I'm riding the elevator in every <laughs> single situation unless a plane hits the building. Hmm. I will ride the elevator in the mall. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the escalator. <laughs> Go up I, the one escalator, side of yeah. Stairs, one. one. So my I answer will is say, one. Yeah. I will say those mall stairs are the steepest, weirdest. Yeah, like, yeah, are, that is. Yeah. Fucking, By the end yeah. of that, you're always like huffing and puffing. It's yeah. kind of strange. Yeah, Our mall has that. two floors the entry level <laughs> and the upstairs. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Yeah, but one. they built like fucking eight flights of stairs just to go up it one is level. Weird, dude, and it's really fucking right. weird. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. It like turns and then turns yeah. and then for turns no fucking and then reason. Yeah. Then, yeah. For no reason. No, you're right. Dumber and that shit. is very strange. Okay. Anyways, next one. Uh, where do you draw the line? This comes in from Facebook. Uh, Travis Grooms. He wants. Oh, he wants to know. Fucking Travis. How many times will you take a kid hitting the back of your seat on an airplane before you yell at him? I don't yell at him. I punch him in the fucking face. <laughs> Take that, you little one-year-old. I don't know. I'm scared to fly. So same. So uh, I don't fly very often. I've never. I never actually have had that problem. I've never had a problem with somebody reclining their seat in front of me. I've never had a problem. Like there was one flight I took to Iraq movie theater where i was in the middle of these two huge kbr guys yeah. and i thought that was like a myth and they were they were well over 400 pounds oh apiece. jesus and it's a fucking 19 hour flight or whatever by the time you're done but uh, that, movie was, th- that was my worst experience but movie I've, theater i've always wanted to sit next to a hot chick on a flight and that's never happened either uh, including your wife yeah uh, no, 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 yeah no she usually doesn't do her makeup so <laughs> it's, yeah count. no uh but no how about like a movie theater because uh, that's happened to me. Not on a plane. Plane, no. I, I'm Dude, way I too. been to a movie theater since before COVID. Really? Yeah. Oh, Last man. time I was in a movie theater, I was taking a piss next to a guy that had Tourette's. <laughs> uh, true story. 110%. Yeah. I was literally standing there taking a piss right next to the guy, and he went fucking ballistic. He was like, fuck, 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 shit, fuck, fuck. And I literally said to him, because I didn't know what to say, I go, dude, you're going to need a lot of antibiotics for that situation. <laughs> and he goes, no, 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 I have, I have Tourette's. I was like, oh, fuck, sorry. Dude. Like, I, did, I, I literally didn't know what was happening. I had no idea. Yeah. And he didn't wash his hands before he leaves the bathroom. If but you, I feel like that's a Tourette's. If you kick, that's how he got Tourette's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. If you kick my chair long enough, like if you kick me, if you consistently kick it throughout the movie, maybe once or two I times, think, I think I'll do it. Was, I'll turn around and say, stop it. You're when kicking I was my chair. Younger, when I was younger, remember, like theaters they had like six stop it <laughs> three times you know when, like, <laughs> theaters had fixed chairs and shit and people would put their feet on the oh, back the oh yeah on the that's back. what they'd, i like kick their yeah. legs up yeah maybe that but yeah. i've never had somebody just kick my chair mm, either okay. never had that all right fine uh last one but travis yeah Travis, if you're taking advice from us, after two kicks, you're fine to go beat the fuck out yeah, of that kid. I agree. And then the parents are going to be like, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for teaching this little cocksucker what he needed to know. <laughs> Last one. Where do you draw the line? This comes in from Instagram. This is Jesse Petal. He wants to know. <laughs> this is fucking great. You going to be okay? Oh, fuck. I just read that. That's so badass. <laughs> we'll get I there. love Jesse Petal. How? Hang tight. He wants to know how many jobs someone can go through before realizing that they are actually the problem. 
dude this goes for fucking fiancés too oh yeah <laughs> you know oh, i mean yeah. dude we're coming yeah. into the holidays there's bitches that are gonna have 14 fucking fiancés before christmas yeah. right that's now. true, that's true. Yeah. this this goes for that person that's like um oh, I'm, I'm leaving i'm moving i'm starting over da, 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 da. no you're still gonna be a piece of shit wherever you start over you know uh-huh wow i gotta go <laughs> i'd say wow you think derek brings people down i would say <laughs> fuck well uh, that, that hit home man i'm not gonna lie i may need to go see your therapist i would say oh brennan has had enough he's now on xanax it's fucking weird yeah he was trying to fucking snort him as i was leaving his oh, office shit. it was very strange um how many jobs can you go at 12 12 wow, jobs dude, that's generous yeah, that's i would say like six i'd say half that yeah maybe yeah it kind of depends it on depends. the job if you're like are you a crew up, leader right. at taco bell or are you a fucking accountant right and you see, know what i mean it depends on if you get let go too if you're quitting yeah. and moving up through the system and it yeah, takes you yeah, 12 yeah, yeah, jobs exactly to get there. yeah now if yeah, you get yeah. fired from several jobs and then fired and or then fired and how then about fi- this yeah. or if you are going from job to job to job if you have like six jobs within a year time span that is a huge red flag oh, to yeah, me. For sure. so, Jesse, we need more information. <laughs> no, we don't. That's plenty. <laughs> no, we need more information. Absolutely info. plenty. Because you know he's talking about somebody uh, or she. I don't know if it's a he or maybe, she, but I don't know. I don't Probably get to talking see. about themselves. Can you put a picture <laughs> of a person's know. face next to these yeah. no, That would be no. great. Could no. you? Yeah, that'd be awesome. No. You could. No. Anyway. You could. I'm already I, I busy. Feel like, I feel like jesse has someone in mind no maybe it jesse. might be jesse that's what i said it might fucking it's be jesse. It, could jesse. Be. jesse it could be it's like oh well fuck, jesse dude. turns out jesse you're a Thir- real piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> 13th job this year yeah is it me good. no it's a, it's, it it's probably like his like girlfriend and he's using us to prove a point that's what my oh, guess is oh damn that's what well, my I'm guess definitely is. siding with him mm-hmm. yeah me too. Anyways, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. So questions and questions and questions, questions and, and pregnant questions. Pregnant <laughs> questions. Uh, but yes, uh, we're going to kick this bad boy off because we're already going long. But anyways. Um, you keep saying that. That's I like we're going to shut up. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. All right. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, but here no, we go. I got some news for at least JP here. Okay. The first question on this list, list is I from Braxton Lint. Now, Fuck if you remember yeah. last week, Braxton Paxton sounds very he, white. He asked a question sounds that hot. you didn't like because oh, yeah? because you didn't understand it. You said it was a dumb question. What was it? It, it was uh, basically the equivalent of what he's asking. He's fixed his question. Oh, he fixed it. He fixed it. So okay. my okay. hat's off to Braxton for fixing it. Yeah. He wants to know what is something a person can do to immediately go from a perfect 10 to a 1. Mm. makes sense her makes perfect sense it was what's a deal breaker for you is what was last week and at that and this makes more sense yeah well thanks for fixing your question braxton yeah absolutely anyways my answer is introducing yourself and then tell me what your goddamn pronouns are absolutely drives oh, me nuts oh that's pretty good not, dude. Not, I, I did buy a shirt recently that says you're into pronouns huh yeah well let me she them titties <laughs> <laughs> so i think that's pretty good i paid 39 dollars for that fucking shirt but it's totally long sleeves, so like yeah, wear it totally all winter. worth it but yeah. no i don't care if you put it on your fucking pages and shit like that but if you come up to me introduce me and or, or meet me in person and the first thing out of your mouth is hi i'm shay i go by she and they and us and bullshit i'm like all right you have lost all of my attention bye so that's uh that's mine how about you uh jp jp um so i think if you have a vagina (laughs) (laughs) yep there it is that's it that's it like i've i've hit on more than one what if they're hermaphrodite oh then they can go fuck themselves (laughs) Like, legitimately i know so but what do they need me for <laughs> yeah that is i true. wish i was a fucking hermaphrodite i actually yeah. think i, actually I would th- knock myself up so much not- natalie's natalie's best friend has a dog that's a hermaphrodite oh, wow. it's a puppy that's yeah. fucking weird man it's a neat puppy it's actually very cute. okay how about you steve Oof, i don't know buddy um hmm. go from a 10 to a one yeah like they do one thing and that just like all right that's it i'm not seeing this person ever again 
A ten's a lot. A ten is ten a is, lot. You have to be yeah, something I was gonna really say, bad like, to that fucking is a, drop that far. That is yeah. a big fucking yeah. drop. I've, like I've I don't, I'm having this, trouble this, making that connection. This I don't know. One hundred percent has happened to me. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking drop dead gorgeous, absolutely amazing. I met a amazing. chick in Jersey one time. Yeah. That uh, no no no. I'm sorry. It was Boston. Um, that became a one uh, after she let the Boston out. I don't, I don't know how to explain oh, it any yeah. better than that. That's no. pretty good. Just, no, that makes perfect sense. You know what I mean? Like she was just kind of <laughs> sounded like, a lot too like, like Jesus, too much dude, like you Matt are Damon. So yeah. fucking white trash, and she's like, "Yeah, right. I am white fucking trash." You know what I mean? Salty. Uh, yeah. So yeah. maybe that I don't okay. know, man. That's like I, just, she walks into the bar. Hey, just, like, just like rough. You know what I mean? Just like <laughs> yeah. fucking like I don't know. Like looks really really. Good. So I guess I guess a tent like this this deal right here. I can't they, they fucking can't, hear. They can't see that. I know, but, but, but we can like show a, a picture of this broad right here. What if she's she, not so, a ten? What no, if she has? I'm a, saying, but if, if she was like a ten, and then you talk to her, and she oh, was like, as soon as she opened her I, mouth, I know. Oh, oh, I would, uh, call there, her there, there was a, a bartender one time that we were talking to. We were just at lunch. Like the, we were just at lunch. There was no reason to be aggressive or anything else. Uh, and then she. I don't, she started talking about politics and stuff like that, and she had a really weird, like, communist view about. Like, I'm just like, fuck off. Like, I don't want to. I don't know. I just don't want to be. No, I get it. With, I don't know. Maybe she Very has strange. an OnlyFans page where she takes her uh, shoes off and smashes pumpkins with them. Yeah, and that could nice. be it. Anyways, that's uh, the original smashing yep, pumpkin. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, next one. This comes in from Facebook. This is Nate Van Deven. Fuck yeah, it is. Yeah. Nate Van Deven. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, he yeah. wants to know if you could rename the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, what would you name it? Steve's fucking podcast show. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty close to my answer. Yeah. The Scotty German show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. No. I do all the work. I feel like you it. have control of the board. I do. I do. Because I do all the fucking work. I would uh, call it the Big Gay Podcast. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, that actually would get a lot more listeners. It probably, it probably would. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Next one. Uh, this one comes in from Twitter. This is from Ian Smoke PW. He wants to know, what's a new name for special needs people? What's the PW stand for? I don't know. Pussy Prison, whipped. Prisoner of war. Mm. No, that's uh, POW. That's P-O-W. And he just left out the O. What's the new smoke. name for special needs? Yeah, like people? what's what's a new name that we can call special needs people without oh, offending them? You yeah, know? Uh, retarded. <laughs> <laughs> that's an old one, but it yeah, works. I feel like that works. <laughs> it does. No, work. it's, it's been phased out, so I'm bringing it back. Bring it's it back new now. Bring it back. I uh, think we can call them Germans. No, <laughs> that doesn't work anymore. Uh, Look at that German. No, you let's. Know? Yeah, I don't let's, know. Let's uh, there's a whole bus full of Germans over there. Uh, there's got to be something. I think, can... no, let's be honest about this. I, I think we can call them stumblers, right? Stumblers. Stumblers. Uh, another Some thing. of them do really well. Some uh, of them can do the hurdles. I've seen it. That's yeah. true. No, uh, we just call them the slows. How about, uh, how about liabilities? Oh. No. Wow. I think that would be pretty bad. Nope, I got it. I got it. This is it. This, this is, this is the, be one. the worst. Yep. Tax breaks. Oh. <laughs> I don't bullshit, know. Bullshit, bullshit, I don't know bullshit. what that means. I don't. It's a tax break, man. Who does? But, yeah. Who gets the tax break? Parents. Retarded kids are very expensive, <laughs> by the way. But they get are they? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I didn't uh, say. And that. they yeah. never kids. leave home. They don't have to be kids. They never Those leave people. home. Man, that's okay. You're stuck. Uh, this is all. This is all dark humor and serious. I'm 46 and, and I just moved out. <laughs> Um, <laughs> my mommy said I had to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> there it went. Uh, uh, no. Son of a. No. I'm just going to call them the window lickers. All right. That's good. That's fine. Uh, but obviously, this is a show. We're just joking. We're not being serious no. about any of this. We care about all of those kids. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Uh, next one. This comes in from Facebook. This is from Robert Pels. He wants fuck to. Fuck yeah, Robert Pels. He wants to know odd things to see with a buy one, get one free sticker. Hookers. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's quintessential or rub and tug there. massages rub and that tug. actually was happening at the town west mall that just got their fucking power cut off the other day <laughs> and then turned back on a day later but there is a rub it's and like tug place time. Yeah. no there is a rub and tug place in the town west mall and they were offering two for one massages Good nice. for them. which Good for is two one two for one you know uh, i'm gonna go with uh eye patches oh that's pretty good you got i mean i mean that's shit. pretty good dude blindfold that's, yeah that's it jp Buy one, get one free, what? Shoes. Like, they have the, the, like the pairs. Yeah, you get, no, you have to you buy one get, shoe. 
<laughs> and then you get it's the other rough. one for free. Oh, uh, I see what yeah. you did there. I feel like that happens now. <laughs> well, I don't, I'd uh, love to know where you get your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Academy Sports. <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, yeah. uh I just I prefer, got ripped off. I prefer dicks. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah we, sure, know. we know. We you know. Do. Yeah. Uh, I just got ripped off. I just went and bought a flip flop, and they wouldn't give me the well, other one. Well, you're an idiot. <laughs> you should have went to dicks. Oh shit! Buy one, get one free. Yeah, you already got it. Colonoscopy. Yeah, I thought about that one too. Prostate exams is another one I thought of. Uh, next question: Instead of the annoying beep, what sound do you wish a smoke alarm would make? Like old timey car horn. Oh, yeah, daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> like every fucking few minutes, it'd be like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it would switch it up. That'd be great. Uh, I would actually probably go get a 9-volt battery. I, I do, don't give a flying fuck I do. what sound it makes as long as all of you fucking people that make TikToks with that goddamn little chirp in the background, it annoys the fucking shit out I of have, you. Whatever here's, it here's takes to cl- put a battery in it, do it. Here's how close I live to the edge. I have two smoke detectors sitting in my bathroom right now with no batteries in them. That's how close I live to the <laughs> edge. It's like, fuck this, dude. Uh, what is it, Garden State? I think it's Garden State with Zach Braff when the mom wakes up in the morning and she's like, uh, the carbon monoxide detector was going off all night. I took the batteries out of it. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> like that. I, that's some relatable shit. Dude. Yes. Like, shut the fuck up. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that is, uh, that's questions and preguntas. No, set. there's one more. I know. Fine. He's trying to cut it short, Steve. No, I'm not. Well, no, well, this is a valid it's a, question. It's a bonus question. It is. Uh, but anyways, next question. Fine. Last question. What is going to be the new and ridiculous thing people are going to argue about in 2024? Can men get pregnant? Yeah, that's, I knew that one was coming. Yep, for sure. They can't. Uh, Let's start an argument. Uh, but by God, is it fun to try? My <laughs> wife has a huge dick, and she did say she was ovulating the other day. Yeah. So yeah. that is kind of annoying. I, I honestly, I'm scared. I'm terrified of this. But mine is uh, like offensive crimes, like speech, like hate speech. I'm terrified of that. Absolutely terrified. If somebody You're scared of hate speech, no, I'm scared of them making laws about it. Yeah, because he, yeah, because he likes he to be yes. hate speech. Yes, exactly. Who decides? Klansman Scotty. Who decides? Klansman Scotty. I hate that joke. Uh, but no, who 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 decides? Who decides what's offensive? Who decides what's hate? It, it, that's what really bugs me because it's all subjective. Yeah. And so, if you just don't like what I say, you can do you can do whatever you want to me. Yeah. Same thing. And and I just think that is a bullshit deal. And that ain't that ain't uh, yeah. That just scares the shit out of me. How about you, JP? Um, I don't know, man. It's hard to fucking pin down because people will argue about Ooh, anything now. Can I just say How that about, I I have thought of the best shitty situation of the week? We'll that's get ever to been it on this show. We'll get, I'm just saying. Gay I just, I'm trying to build. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, probably, I mean, that's probably gay rights and like and adopting, adopting. Yeah, stuff that's like a that. good one. Uh, no, you know. my brother-in-law is a piece of shit, <laughs> and he's a gay guy. I don't care that he's gay. He's a piece of shit, uh, and he adopted two kids, yeah. so that's fine. Uh, should he have adopted? That's a pretty common thing, I think, right? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, there's gay... Now it is. Well, yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of kids that nobody wants, and they're like, all right, yeah. gay, fuck it, fuck you're it. going there. It doesn't matter. Fine, we need yeah. to get you the fuck out of our orphanage. There it is. I was yeah. going to ask yeah. that. Would you rather them rotten on orphanage or yeah, exactly. let two guys that... exactly. At least they have some sort of a family unit. Or would you rather you have know? two guys who Dude, want to be a good parent actually be a parent? Be? I accidentally walked in on my parents one time when they were having sex, oh. but it'd be so weird to walk in on my dad blowing my dad. My mom like yeah. himself dude what if you walked in on your dad railing your other dad yeah that like, oh, it smells like me. shit yeah. in here yeah yeah not good anyways ladies and gentlemen that is questions and preguntas we got to get moving this sh- episode's gonna go fucking long but uh anyways now we move on to a very popular part of every single episode this is the laughing on the sidelines draft All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I lost. I lost. <laughs> Already? All right, no, I lost well, last week. 
Oh, I, lost I thought you lost this week too. No, you I did. lost. Okay. I, 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 well, you probably will. I yeah. lost. It's okay. It's no it's big fine. deal. I lost to fine. Jeremy Joseph the Great and uh, JP. Uh, you came in second. So yeah. barely. I mean, I almost pulled that out. Really? He beat you by like 50 votes, bro. Uh, but not any, that many. Anyways. Considering uh, we have tens of thousands, thousands of, of people. Listeners. Yeah, I know. Uh, so then anyways, this week, JP gets the uh, championship picks by a technicality because, uh, you know, that's his magic that he, he uses. Um, and, uh, because I got dead last, but Jeremy is not here. I get the uh, sandwich picks and, uh, because Steve is our guest, Steve gets the first pick and this, this week's draft, uh, I'm pretty pumped about this. I really like this one. Um, but there were always movies that you watched whenever you were a kid that you absolutely loved. And then you tried to rewatch them as an adult and they were awful, but you still loved it anyway. Mm -hmm. That is the draft we are doing. We are doing movies that you liked as a kid that are terrible after watching them as an adult. Okay. Okay. So, Steve, you get your very, very first pick. Uh, What is the 101, Steve? Napoleon Dynamite. Ooh. I don't know about that. I still think that's a good... Still a classic, yeah. It's still good. That was so fucking stupid. (laughs) It's stupid, but it's a great movie. Uh yeah, I, I have another one though. I'm well, good. Hold okay, on. I have four more. I have yeah. four more. You need four more. Four more. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm. I'm gonna get made fun of for this, and I don't give a shit. Uh, it was. It was awesome as a kid, and I wanted so badly to break my right arm, my baseball throwing arm, because if I broke my <laughs> right arm, year. I could throw a hundred miles an hour. And so I'm gonna go with Rookie of the Year. Nice. Hell yeah, <laughs> dude! Yeah, it is such a dumb movie, but it's great. I still love it. Uh, anyways, uh, JP, you get two in a row. Uh, I'm going to go with Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> pick. That's a good one. And Killer Clowns movie. with a KK. Yeah, right. And uh, <laughs> Teen Witch. Really? Whoa. Have you ever seen it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a fucking pretty corny ass movie, but you're, it's, it's you're, good. You're kind of going down the same like the the same area that yeah. I'm going into. Okay. We may well, let's hope we so, don't run into each other. I hope so. You don't want to run into a gay <laughs> so, in the dark hallway. <laughs> Ooh, I got wiener this, on me. This, <laughs> this next one, I've I, got some tricks to get it out. This, I love this, it. This next one was also one that I may be judged about. Okay, but you remember when Disney Channel made Disney movies? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. just Disney Channel movies? Oh, yeah. There was one that I really loved about some uh, soul skaters uh, for rollerblading, and that was Brink. Never nice. saw it. Oh, I'm nice. taking Brink. Uh, it was, I thought, was the coolest fucking okay. movie at the time. It is shit. Yeah. It is shit, shit, shit. Okay. Uh, Steve, you get two in a row, man. All right. Hang on. I got to look it up. I know one of them is Gleaming the Cube. Gleaming the Cube? Are you fucking kidding me? No. Oh boy! No, I, I'll I'll go with gleaming the cube, whatever that is, and, um, and you get another one. Uh, rad! Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you bad at saving that one, you motherfucker! <laughs> oh, I knew I should have taken it. Oh. Wow! Fuck you for being my own age. Come on, yeah, man. man! They would have. Neither one of them, Derek or Scotty would have never taken that. That's a great one, man. Okay. Good I for you. I want to do honorable mentions, too, because I have so many that I that should be fucking stupid, but they are still, um, like, well, yeah. I got I to gotta figure out what you guys are going to say first. All right. But I want to do some honorable mentions. Uh, we're we ha- we're going to have to, yeah, There's because yeah. there's quite a few of these. Uh, Gleaming the Cube was a skateboard movie with Christian Slater. Oh, I do know that. And he lived that. in a bomb uh, shelter in his uh, parents' backyard in L.A. I do. I do, I do remember that now. And he was a skateboarder guy. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my next pick uh, is going to be a movie that probably made me fall in love with dogs, make me realize I love dogs more than I like humans. Okay. Uh, and at the, as a kid, a as a kid, I thought it was a great movie. Okay. It was absolutely awful. I watched it recently. Benji? And it was terrible. It was Beethoven. Oh, Beethoven is so not. Bad. I love that movie because I Beethoven have a Saint Bernard. Is, yes, yeah, it's and, amazing, dude. They're amazing dogs. They're yeah. great dogs, and the, the movies are great too. It's so. a great movie. Yeah, so, it but it's but it was great when I was a kid. It's dumb. That yeah. you know that tray that had all of those syringes that ended up stabbing that doctor. <laughs> yeah. That doctor died. He yeah. did not live. <laughs> he died, and that was a kids' movie. He died. Yeah. 
Anyways, JP, you get two in a row. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, The Wizard. Okay. Is that like a... Is, a, that's a, is that a movie about a movie Derek? About nin- game. It's about a movie about Nintendo, about oh, uh, oh, yeah. game competition. I, and, okay, all right. Yeah. I, did, I did like that one. Yeah. That one's good. Uh, stupid fucking movie if you go back and watch it now. Really fucking dumb, yeah. I yeah. love it. Uh-huh. It's my um, favorite. And the other one, the next one is called Daryl. And it's like D A R R Y L. It's about a guy, about a kid that's really a robot. Okay. Mm. And it's. I remember I that. Lo- I remember yeah. that. Yeah. It was yeah, a yeah, great yeah. movie when I was little. Oh, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. He just, he got a new idea is what I did. Yeah, I it, did. It, it, it 110%. Went, oh, if you say another one, fucking, dude, I have I, one more. And if you fuck this up, <laughs> <laughs> I want to like you, Steve. I know, but I feel like I need to win. Like, I've never even gotten close to winning any of these ever. Okay. okay. Whose turn is it? It's mine. And I am also going to go with another one. Loved it as a kid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the dumbest fucking movie ever, and that is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's a great movie. That's actually a good movie. That's like saying saying Little Shop of Horrors. I watched it again. That's a good fucking movie. It was so dumb. Oh, it's so good. Rick Moranis, you fucking idiot. No, it's Rick Moranis is a brilliant man uh, yeah he is he made his money that guy's he got a, the fuck he's out. a good dude too yeah he got knocked out in fucking new york who the fuck knocks out yeah, rick moran that guy yeah. should have been put to death yeah. the, the guy that actually him out. knocked him out fuck that guy yeah. yeah he's the nicest guy ever but i still think it's like it was a great movie as a kid not as an adult no, i yeah. disagree yeah. But yeah. i disagree with a lot of your picks mm-hmm. who's next uh steve you get two in a row war games Good one. War games. Uh, but I, yeah, yeah, good one. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Because yeah. when I was a kid, like that was the most cutting edge, technologically advanced fucking movie ever. It and a- now people would be like, <laughs> yeah. "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, it's a good uh, pick. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a very obscure one. Okay, it's still one of my favorites. I don't think it's stupid. Everybody that I've ever had watch it thinks it's stupid as fuck. But Norm Macdonald is one of my favorite comedians, and I am picking Dirty Work. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, I love Norm Macdonald. Oh, fuck. That dude's amazing. Okay. Okay. (laughs) There's no way anybody would have picked this. There's no way. So the story goes for this pick is the same actor who played in Rookie of the Year. Mm -hmm. That was his big hit. He was a he was a kid, but he played or he was an actor in like a slew of these shitty movies that were like side pieces for because of Rookie of the Year. Right, and he played in one that I loved as a kid. But God damn it, it's terrible. And it's called A Kid in King Arthur's Court. It's what awful. The fuck. Yeah, it's it's bad. That was a grooming porn that your your <laughs> teachers had you watch before you got banged in the oh ass. Oh my! That is very strange, sir. Very very strange. Yeah, it, it's it's bad. It's bad as mm-hmm. adults. Whew. Uh, all right, JP, you get your last pick, and it's the one that you wanted. Uh, the boy who could fly. The boy who oh, could fly. What nice. a stupid fucking movie. <laughs> but, man, I watched it so many times when I was a kid. I wanted to fly. Uh, and now you, I if do. You, if you really think about 80s movies, like if you think about E.T., and you think about just all the – those are so fucking stupid now. Like if you think about what's the cocoon – yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So fucking cocoon. cocoon was dumb. Like there's so many Cocoon's that now one. you watch them and you're like, what the fuck? I'm surprised. And we used to, we, dude, we used to be engrossed in that. Batteries shit. not just, included. Batteries not included, dude. Great. We used to fucking watch that shit like it was yeah. gospel. Like yeah. we would watch that like it was the truest thing ever. No. And now you try, dude. There's. Oh. Hey, your people are on TV. There's oh, two dudes no. just kissing at the fucking Chiefs game. I just anyway, had a new I'm, one. <laughs> Leave it to the Chiefs. Oh, I just had another one pop into my head that I would totally switch out because you it's a always great, do this. I know what I do. It? It's what a great it? movie as far as an idea goes. What is it? But it's the dumbest concept in the world. It's action figures that you buy at a oh, store yeah. that all of a sudden are intelligent. And oh, Toy Story. No, get <laughs> knives and shit and shoot them at each other. And that is what? Small Soldiers. Small Soldiers, yeah. Oh, Fuck. Yeah. Tommy yeah. Lee Jones. How about uh, uh, 
Puppet Master. Did you see those movies? No. Puppet Master movies? No. Well, you Christine was out. a scary motherfucker yeah. Yeah. until you grew up, and then you're like, this is the this dumbest. Is dumb. This is a possessed yeah. car that can't really. All you have to do is walk inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then it can't fucking kill you anymore. What's the one where the fucking uh, semi trucks are like chasing you down? Trucks. Oh, trucks. Transformers. <laughs> yeah, it's called trucks. Trucks. And Transformers. <laughs> trucks. That's a LGBTQ plus situation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right, JP. Anyways. Why is LGBTQ plus and whatever else is now? They're like, are they trying to turn themselves into a Wi Fi password or what so, the fuck is going on, dude? It's all the letters of the alphabet. Here's the thing, and I'm going to piss off my fellow gays here. I love it. It's fucking ridiculous, man. It kind of is. No, it's getting really, used really to just ridiculous. Be- no, seriously. Like, it used to be really easy to follow. Yeah. And now I feel like an asshole anytime that I don't say it right or do it. I, I'm not trying no, to offend anybody, dude, but I truly cannot. How, I can't age. keep up. It's I can't keep up. Well, I literally asked, can't keep up. You asked him I the question. You, let him answer. You. Yeah, no, I 100% <laughs> agree with you. Yeah. It's too much. It's <laughs> too much. I don't get it. Like, my roommate. Have you seen all the flags? Oh, there are so many flags. They're the Flag- United Nations. Flaggots. <laughs> they have a quarter of the flag. Flaggots. flaggots everywhere. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious. Like, no, yeah, the quarter of the flags I, I are tried, ours now. I seriously, Look, I tried to learn what they were. I can't. I can't gr- figure it out. Gays are very greedy. You give us one flag, we're gonna fucking take them all. You <laughs> yeah, know what we I gave mean? you guys all. Eventually, fabulous. Eventually, every <laughs> country's flag will be rhinestoned. Uh, <laughs> very coming very soon. You guys had to make a flag first, and then you took all of the colors, and then you're yeah. creating more colors right. to put them on the no, same no, rainbow they, colored yeah. flag. They took the rainbow flag. That's fine. That's, That's happy. It's That's, Hawaii. You know, flag. Whatever. It's happy. Anyways, <laughs> we got to move on. That is this week's draft. Uh, you can go to Facebook. Facebook.com oh, slash laughing on the, the sidelines. Bag. Or you yeah, can go to Twitter so. or X at laughing or sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, L O T sidelines and vote for the list who has the best uh, list of movies you liked as a kid that aren't very good now. And if you don't vote for Steve, you're fucking dead to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's not going to be back next week. Nope. Fuck Steve. I'm done. <laughs> Anyway. Now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Mr. Steve Peters. Yay! I sponsored this. I won! <laughs> in Vorshay's Lounge. You're kind of being yeah, a German. <laughs> <laughs> the German. I mean, a tax break? Yeah. I love it. I love it. Anyways, yeah, uh, so yeah, this actually, Steve totally. came up with this one, so I'm going to give him all the credit in the world. Okay. okay. And uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. You want like me to it. say it? No. No. Oh. You're talking too much already. Uh, right. I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you do. Thing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, I thought really. that's what we were doing. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to talk yeah. anyway. The LGBTQ plus community has their own flag for Scotty German. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big pile of shit. It just shit. has a little dick on it. It just has a little <laughs> tiny dick on it. A little it. tiny dick <laughs> yeah. and a big pile of shit. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather have every single Chiefs game for the remainder of the season have Taylor Swift coverage or Brittany and Jackson Mahomes doing TikToks coverage. TikToks on the sidelines. Right, what? Whatever. I'm not trying to nitpick. But <laughs> so I feel like I could have said it better, but that's fine. TikToks that's, on the sidelines. That's their podcast that's, that they're going to come TikToks out with. On the that's what they if they do, do, we'll they, fucking sue. Remember, sue and, you guys remember that for like three fucking oh yeah. years. Oh, yeah. It, they were on the sidelines every single game doing TikTok dances and shit like that. It was the most annoying thing on planet Earth. So I think you're going to get a catch 22 with this because, uh, or, well, they are, t- Taylor Swift and Britney are becoming friends. And so oh. dude, they, they have their own fucking touchdown like thing so, now did I, you see that yes i know their high five and chest bump and all that shit i know they just mush their titties together okay uh but anyways uh i think that no matter what if you have taylor swift coverage you're gonna get britney Damn. britney and i didn't Jackson know you dropped Rose. your pen I know. and i was getting I know. fucking I knew, excited i knew then i, I saw you go you for the pen and i was to like take your pants off fuck. i know anyways uh i'm yeah, going i'm lips. going with taylor swift coverage <laughs> 
That's what I'm going Me with. Me too. Yeah, for because sure. everybody and, uh, is. Taylor yeah. Swift. I hate fucking Ta- Taylor Swift Britney. comes with Ryan Reynolds, and when you get Ryan Reynolds, oh, who I already love, love yeah, that for sure. You get mm. Ryan Reynolds' wife. I bet his butthole tastes like cherries. Oh God. Yeah, or mm. grape. I like grape. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a grape man myself. Yeah, I'm a grape soda fella. <laughs> I don't drink any soda at all. The show but I'll has drink derailed. Oh, it's yeah. been derailed. It's been and derailed. That's, that's okay. Uh, but no, I am going definitely mm-hmm. with Taylor Swift coverage. I want to see. I want to see Ryan Reynolds' wife. What about Wally? What Wall-E. about Wally? He's going. He's all the way back. To yeah, we're going back to the he's movies. He's going back to the movies. Yeah. God damn it! I don't know why I just I, thought of that. That was fucking stupid. It was a great that movie. Was, the Iron Giant. Stupid. Yeah. Oh, that was. It is, uh, yeah. That, this is the episode that never done. ends. God. Okay, we're never going to get done. No, never. All Anyways. right, let's just act like we're starting over. No, right? we're not. Okay, okay. <laughs> no. Take two. No. All right. No. Steve, what? how was your week last week, Scotty? <laughs> I bet Scotty's had a great week. I bet he did. I'm going to be up until 3 o'clock in the morning at this point. Yes. Jeez. You can no. call. I'll be up, too. Call me. We'll hang out. No, yeah. I don't want to. Oh, that sounded like a phone <laughs> sex people, offer. These people are depending on me to create or to, to produce an episode. That's 316. <laughs> call JP to... Talk about your PP. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. That's weird. All right. For the first couple minutes, but then it. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Somebody will call with like, it hurts when I pee every time. <laughs> Good Lord. That'll Anyways, happen. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I, uh, I really appreciate you guys for listening to this episode. You even guys though, are awesome. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Even though it You're derailed like a son of a bitch. But, uh, Mr. Steve Peters, Can thank we, you very much for coming on. on the show. Can we give a special shout out to Daniel Delaney? For being down under. Dev Dev 47, oh, Alex Schnaver, <laughs> Jeff Friedman, Taylor Moroski, Frankie Garcia. Taylor, that. Yeah, we did. Yeah, uh, Tyler Plackey, Keith Ledsky, just doesn't want to leave. Travis Green, uh, probably not. Jesse Petal. Uh, He's got no place else to be. No, no I just, I wanted to give shout outs to the, Great. you know, they gave. Yeah, awesome. we did whenever we did the question we did yeah but i feel like they should have gotten a specialer shout out okay, okay. No, i think that's a i think okay. that's a word cool. right specialer nope, sure isn't uh but anyways and thank I you i think it's pronounced german thank you <laughs> 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 thank you mr jp as well Absolutely, you're always great man. love it Love when you're on the show here. guys you know what do us a favor you guys are awesome you keep on sharing the episodes sharing the material i sincerely do appreciate it i guarantee you we are probably being shadow banned on tiktok nobody's uh, getting to see our videos anymore why that's fine uh the tiktok doesn't like us anymore right now why uh, i don't know it's just weird uh but so you can follow us on our other platforms that's what i do or uh you can get notified you can actually click a notification button on tiktok and you can actually see all of the videos that we post or you can uh, just watch the episodes it's kind of what happens anyways yeah or find us on truth social no, that's not where it's at. But Sorry. do look for OnlyFans coming soon. Coming very soon. Coming oh, very dude, soon. that'd be fucking awesome. It would be. We have to start that. Coming, naked. coming. Yeah, <laughs> we have to start that's that right. naked. Uh, but anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, keep doing what you do. If you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us, we uh, we hope you give a blowjob to your dad behind a glory hole. Yes. <laughs> so does JP. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Oh, good God. Anyways, uh, if you don't like us, uh, tell your enemies. Until next time, guys, keep laughing, assholes. I don't think I'm getting invited. What about we'll see you later.